Hey, thanks for watching. I decided it was time to do a new video on my settings. As you can see, I, I got some really nice detail here. Now, this is being recorded in my Oculus Quest 2 headset. However, the actual Quest view is not quite this sharp and crisp. I mean, it's close to what you're seeing here, but it's not quite this sharp and crisp. So if you follow my settings, you're not going to see this exactly, but you're going to be very, very close to this. And, you know, you, but you can see the frame rate. You can see what kind of frames I'm, I'm averaging. I am always getting between 30 and 40 frames per second. And so I have not changed my settings now in about three weeks. I've been flying with these same exact settings. I really don't mess with them. However, as I've said before in the past videos, if I'm in the city, I will turn my buildings up and my trees down and vice versa. Out here, I turn the trees up and I turn the buildings down. I don't need to be generating high buildings if I'm flying over mountains and trees and rivers. So now these are my settings now. I will post screenshots of these up, but you can see hopefully what they are here. So I'm running my resolution at 75 because I use the OpenNIS Scalar Tool Suite to adjust that. Terrain level of detail is 90. Objects level of detail 135. Pre-screen high. Terrain vector medium. Buildings right now are on high and trees are medium. And grass and bushes medium. So I've actually got to adjust this because like I said, I would normally turn my buildings down and my trees up. But you can see I was still averaging good 36, 37 frames per second. Anisotropic is 16, texture um, super sampling 8x8, texture synthesis medium, water waves low for now, shadow maps 1024, terrain shadows 128, contact shadows medium, ambient inclusion medium, cube map 192, ray marched medium, light shafts high, and bloom is turned on. Now I have real time online traffic, airport vehicle density. I actually turned down, I got to turn this down because I got so many darn, um, I had so many cars and trucks running around. But you can see I got the aircraft density turned up. I have road vehicles on. So I am having some live action in my game while I'm flying. Everything here is on with the exception of live weather right now. And that's just because I like to control the time of days that I fly usually. And I do not have rolling cash enabled. Flight model, modern, and realistic. Everything maxed out at 100. No assists, nothing on. Just pure flying. Now these are my virtual desktop settings. I can see here, oh, you can see here that, now these are the desktop, so these aren't quite as, as important as the streaming here, which is ultra, 90 frames per second, video bit rate, 70, sharpening, 75, sliced encoding on, and increased video nominal range and I have my gamma down to 0.85 I find that Microsoft Flight Sim to be a very bright game normally and I don't think that's you know I think that we should have more filters for it and so I do that with the gamma and now these are my NVIDIA control panel settings and most of these are default I have the anisotropic filtering as application controlled gamma correction again is turned on because I think the game is too bright and washed out in areas otherwise the prefer maximum performance for my power management and you can see I have off allow for the LOD I have high performance for quality trilinear off threaded optimization off triple buffering use the global vertical sync off and the pre-rendered frame set at 2 like I said, I've been flying this way for a while now, and I've, I've put up probably 20, well, maybe not 20, at least 10 videos in the last few weeks. So here you can see I have the flight simulator and the video desktop streamer uh, set to the high graphics. HAGS is on. Virtual re uh, variable refresh rate is on. And that's pretty much all I have settings for graphics here. So the only other settings that I really need to show you are my Steam VR settings here. And you can see for video, now I can't show you the, I gotta wait till the game loads to show you the actual in-game settings because there are two settings in here. You have your overall and then you have the in-game. 
So overall, I'm set at 94% here. I do not have the super sampling filtering on. There's just too many places now you can put on super sample filtering. So I find it best to just pick one and play with it and ignore the, <laughs> the other places where you can <laughs> put it on. Uh, I need to get into VR mode here and actually have the game in VR mode before I can show you. And you may not have ever seen these because I found them by accident. But see, now I'm in VR mode and so now I can actually go to video settings for the game itself. And here you can see what I have. I have 107% and then 100%. And I think, you know, like I said, watch any of the videos that I've put up in the last week or so. And I think you'll agree. I, I have some very nice graphics and my frame rates are definitely acceptable. I mean, I have no, no issue whatsoever. If I'm getting frames between 30 and 40, and it's virtual, and it's in my Oculus Quest, and I have the detail turned on that you saw that I have turned on. And of course, now that I'm in the game flying, I can show you the OpenXR Toolkit settings. You can see my frames are 37 up here. I have the NIS upscaling enabled, not the FSR. I find the NIS gives me better performance. Uh, factor 81%. Sharpness 100%, world scale FOV at 100% each. And for the type of flying I do and the planes that I use, and you could watch any of my videos and see what I see. And if I can fly and get this now, I know if I get into the DC-6 from PMDG, that's going to drop. I'll probably average closer to 30, 29 to 31. And it'd probably be the same thing if I do the Airbus 320, it would probably drop as well too. But then I would just tweak a couple of things to, to make that better. Because I, I have room to tweak with these settings if I want to change. But I, I do general aviation and I fly mountains, I fly rivers, I fly valleys. I'm not normally up at 33,000 feet, but I can tell you if I was up at 33,000 feet right now in the Airbus 320, I would be getting 45 frames per second at least right now if I was up there in one of those jets. And uh, I actually landed there earlier in this. There's another video online that I just posted you'll see showing uh, short field landings with this. This is the Monster Cub. X, uh, the Monster NX Cub from Gut Gravel. Great plane. Well, anyways, I hope this helps. And again, I'll put up screenshots and I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.